On day two, we'll be spending most of our time in Turpentine Creek and we'll be concentrating on Eureka Springs, part of our trip. Looking around the hotel in the early morning, it was really beautiful in their courtyard. We leave our hotel early in the morning heading toward Turpentine Creek because we have an early tour. We drive a few miles out into the country and then we're arriving at Turpentine Creek. When we arrive, the gate is closed. But soon the gates open and we head on in to get our tickets at the entrance. There are several sections of the property. The pink section is where we're going to be spending the night. They have lodging of various types, including the safari suites, which are family suites that can house several different people. And they also even have a tree house that you can stay in for the night. We're going to be staying at the safari camp and we're going to be staying in the Serengeti tent and glamping as we're here. We'll look at that later on in the trip. They also have safari tents and they have an RV and tent camp. Now we're going to go look at the big cat habitats. You used to be able to walk around them, but now we have to take a tour because of COVID-19. We have to wear masks because the cats can catch COVID-19. This area we used to be able to just walk around in on our own, but because of COVID-19, they have to be very careful that their cats don't get sick. Then we look at some of the cats as we walk If you train. notice the yellow hammock she's under, the material might look a little familiar. It is made out of fire hose. Fire departments donate their hoses to us, and we build all kinds of things out of them. Now, if you notice, we don't have any hoses Let's just sit back and take in the tour. My name is Becky. Um, I am a wildlife interpreter here. So what we do here, you guys, is we rescue exotic animals. People have tried to have us pets. She is called a liger. This Fergie here is a hybrid that will not be found in the wild. It is a dad lion and a mom tiger to make it liger. This is Mr. Whistler. He is under the platform hanging out in the shade. It is a little harder to see him. He usually tries to start 
that and everybody else will pick up with him sometimes. Sometimes I don't and he just gives up. He did come from that Branson facility that I will later tell you about. Shakira, we nicknamed her Mama. It's called Rescue Ridge. It is our retirement area. There are about 20 animals down there. These heel signs will get harder on these animals as they age. So we move them down to the flat area. We don't do general public tours down there. Um, in that hospital. We do have a vet here on staff. She started here as an intern, became a staff member, left for school, and she came right back. So she just made a full circle. So it is nice to have, we do not have to transport animals off of property. So the reason you see so many white tigers was a gentleman in the 50s found the last known white tiger that was discovered in the wild. He brought it home and discovered that if he inbreeds a tiger, he will get more of those recessive genes and more of the white color, which means more money. Unfortunately, he did figure it out and he traveled around the world selling his tigers for lots of money. Every white tiger you see is genetically traced back to the one tiger from the 50s and his immediate offspring that started it all. So there is a family tree that goes back to just that one group. So I'm gonna talk about both of these guys. We're gonna scoot up so you guys can see Miss Shakira here. Shakira. Miss Carmen's gonna walk along um, the fence here. So you guys will gonna get to see her as she goes Carmen. around. Miss Karma is another liger. She is darker in color than Miss Shakira who you saw. She is one who sometimes tries to sound like a lion. Sometimes she likes to try and carol like a lion. And if you notice those white spots on the back of her ears, that is a tiger trait. I'm later gonna ask you a fun little quiz on why tigers need white spots. But with food, if you ever know someone that works for Tyson, please thank them. Tyson gives us over 300,000. If you're here on a hot day and a cat has a red face, please don't be alarmed. They have had their carnivore treat. She is watching her neighbor, and we're going to come up here so you guys can see. She came from Missouri along with Keisha, who you're going to see walking up the hill as we go by. Miss Keisha is an orange tiger. Miss Keisha is an can see them a little better as well. Okay, so we'll probably stop. So, if Montana, Poncho, Floyd, all these orange tigers, Keisha, that you've been seeing, if they were in the wild, people unfortunately tried to
good we took the early tours, the next tour is going to have a storm in the midst of it. This is also the size of a lion, tiger, claw, and I will have these closer if you want to look at them. Think of a house cat when they're mad. Think of a big cat, 400 or 600 pounds. We look at the cats one more time as we walk back to the entrance from the tour and do a little shopping. And then we head off to eat lunch in the rain. We're going to be going to another town and eating at the Sonic. When we get back from lunch, they have our cabin ready and we get into it. All of the glamping tents are decorated with an African theme. And this is a view from our back deck. Because we're staying on property, we can take as many tours as we want. So we took one in the morning and now we're taking one in the afternoon to see what else we can see. We walk over to the tram looking at some of the animals along the way. Currently there are 85 animals on property and they have been in existence for 28 years rescuing animals and rescued over 400 uh -huh. in that time. Now let's just look at the tour again. Same animals, just they've moved around and some can be seen better. by a veterinarian. He was very, very asleep, but that is a very big boy. Get it! Good job, Roman. So Donna is separated from Roman, you guys, so he's the one up in the night house. Because these habitats are so expensive, these cats alternate every other day. We just want to have space to rescue more animals from abuse. Yes. <laughs> 
Actually, it's still trial. And typically, the cubs do not bring their barrels back up the hill. It's usually the interns that have to do that. So our very um, daughter Roman right now. Well, Cora, daughter's definitely stalking him. These two boys used to live together, but they fight, so we have to talk back. She likes to argue with you. I'm going to tell you about her day. She also hates her neighbor, Karma, so she spends most of her time grooming herself or stalking her neighbor through the river came as her habitat. Um, so the male ligers are always sterile, so this is not a true species from a place, Oklahoma, where they never touched grass. They were on concrete for nine years, Kiara, and then six years, Cardala. This gentleman had them since they were babies. So when we first rescued them, they did not want to She's very sassy. She's got an attitude with her ears back there. <laughs> Athena's been here for 10 years with her siblings. So these three ligers... Now our tour is over and as we walk back to the gift shop from the tram, we see some more of the tigers and other animals that are here. Some of them are so beautiful in their coloration, like this ligger. And this brings us to the end of day two.